America, FBI and CIA agents, and fellow cult members. Welcome to Culture Club USA. I'm DeBrava. And today's riddle is The system's broken, the asylum's closed, the groceries open, so what's a Karen to do? The police arrive as cool subsides, as tasers launch to do what they do. The wicked frame of the damaged brain is hazily understood by the few. Because the virtues of patience, even when they are blatant, are rarely stuck together like glue. In today's episode of Crime and Culture Unfiltered, we'll visit an indigenous Karen unpeacefully dwelling in her natural habitat, chaos and disaster. Let's get into it. Get down, get down, get down. On March 13th, 2024, the police were called to a gas station after a woman began causing a disturbance inside the store. The incident started when she entered and began acting out, leading to a significant disruption and a serious confrontation. First of all, you know she was in there buying all that stuff. The Welch's, the candy. I mean, are you telling me that she's in here stealing? Like, what was she doing right here? I, first of all, will you take a look at this? Get a load of this. Like, she's on a counter. Is that the coffee bar? Like, where is she here? And there's the taser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I digress. After a woman began causing a disturbance inside the store, the incident started when she entered and began acting out, leading to a significant disruption and a serious confrontation. Buy my counter. Like, we have like knives all over the board. You, you have knives? Do I buy my counter? No, no, we have no, no guns. Okay. That poor kid is scared. <laughs> look at his, look at his body language. He's like, he's like, over there. Look, 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 look. He's like, oh God, I'm scared of her. She's a crazy, crazy, crazy woman. You have knives? Do I buy my counter? No, no, we have no, no guns. Okay. She's behind the counter? Hello. Good, how are you? I, I see that. Okay. Can you come over here and talk to us? Why not? Oh, I don't want your money. I make, I make money. I don't need money. Can you put all that stuff down? Don't bring an ambulance. We'll bring an ambulance. Can I call one person, please? Who do you want to call? Just one of my friends. That's it. She wants to call one of her friends. She needs an ambulance. First of all, she's sitting behind the counter as if the cops are going to come in there thinking she's a worker or something. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. I mean, she's just sitting back there like asking, you know, something about money. Can I sell you something? Do you need something from behind there? You want some cigarettes? A little whiskey? I mean, what you need? <laughs> I mean, what is this woman doing? She, this woman's insane, okay? Insane. <laughs> You have a phone on you? You got a phone on you? Upon arriving at the scene, the officer found a highly aggressive woman holding a weapon. Her hostile demeanor and weapon presence made the situation particularly dangerous. The officer had to act quickly and cautiously to defuse the tension, secure the area, and ensure the safety of everyone involved while managing the escalating threat. First of all, okay, there's the pharmacy. <laughs> there's the pharmacy. Uh, you know she's going to rob some drugs. <laughs> I mean, clearly. I, uh, you know, I feel bad for these workers that work in these convenience stores like this. First of all, this is why, this is why the right to bear arms is so important, okay? Because if you're working in a place that has to have glass barricading you from the customers, you need a gun behind the counter, okay? <laughs> Let's just get that state. You need a gun, my son. We go to make... Make convenience stores safe again. You need to have a weapon. When the police officer asked him if he had any guns or knives behind the counter and he said no, I'm like, well, that's your first mistake. Sure the safety of everyone involved while managing the escalating threat. Do you have a phone? Call them. It went dead. This is your phone right here. It's one of my friend's phone. Yeah? But Listen, like, um, uh -huh. I want to kill myself. Okay, I understand that. We'll get you some medical help. Can you put the scissors down and the screwdriver down in the meantime? If I see an ambulance, I will. If you see an ambulance, you will? I are you are you on anything right now? Huh? 
Are you on anything right now? No. Medications, alcohol, drugs? I can't charge you with it. I'm just asking questions. Huh? I'm going into withdrawals. Withdrawals? Okay. Where do you live at? Okay, so she was going into withdrawals, people. <laughs> this is this is this is serious. This is actually sad. Okay, the drug epidemic in this country is sad. It's disturbing. She probably is like seriously going into withdrawals and is trying to break into the pharmacy to, you know, stop herself from that. I mean, the smart thing to do would to be, how about you get yourself to an emergency room? <laughs> I mean, seriously, you're going to go rob a store and, 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 and look, 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 God only knows what's about to happen here. All right. From my, um, where do I live at? Mm -hmm. I don't know tour controls. In my yeah. With your brother? Okay. What's this on your arm? That band? Um, that's from the hospital. What hospital? That's from using that when I'm in medication. Okay. But, um, I cut all my legs up. When did you get out of the hospital? Let's leave that there, okay? This was the same. Okay. Can you push it through there? Can I see an ambulance, please? We're, we're definitely going to get you an ambulance, yeah. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, okay? It was reported that store employees had asked her to leave, but she escalated the situation by vandalizing the store instead of complying. Adding to now, first of all, before we get into her vandalizing the store and everything, okay, has have the cops called the police yet? <laughs> I mean, have the cops called the ambulance yet? Because I mean, this woman is sitting behind this thing, and she could literally just like slice, you know, her. She could just like cut herself right there and bleed out. I mean, have you called for an ambulance yet? It's like sometimes I feel like these cops, like, why are you trying to be, you know, psychiatrists? Which, you know, sometimes it's like, it, it feels like these cops have to be more of a psychiatrist than police officers. It's crazy. Adding to that, she broke various items and caused considerable damage to the property, prompting the need for intervention. When the officer initiated the investigation, the woman was uncooperative and refused to share any information. I need to be seen by Yeah, but I, I can't get any angles of you. You got weapons and stuff in your hands. But I just... That can't happen, right? That's why we come first. I know that. This is an unusual situation. Would you agree? Yes, that's why we do We're definitely going to do it, but I need you to give me those things first. Is this her way for like auditioning or applying for the job? <laughs> because it's not, I mean, it's so odd looking at this woman behind the counter like that. It just literally looks like she's working there. And did you notice? Clearly she's done this before. She's been here before because she's already saying that she wants to kill herself. <laughs> this is how you get lesser charge. Lesser charges. I'm suicidal. Oh, I'm mentally ill. <laughs> I'm mentally ill. Put me into a mental institute. <laughs> and here's the Indian over here. Oh my God, she's mentally ill. Call somebody now. Oh, we're going to give her some medicine from Gonji's River. Why didn't you just tell me? You should have told me. You, you would drawing we can make some gonchis river certain spice we take it out all you had to do is ask <laughs> if you put the scissors and the screwdriver down we can get you the help that you need but you have to put the screwdriver and the, the scissors down <laughs> You got to put that stuff down, okay? This cop is like, I need you to put the scissors and the screwdrivers down, okay? I'm late. I should have been at the Dunkin' Donuts, okay? I had a date tonight from an Instagram girl, okay, at the local diner. Like, you really holding me up here. Put down the scissors and the screwdriver so I can make my date at the diner, okay? They got biscuits and, 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 and grits waiting for me. What you doing? Down. You got to put that stuff down, okay? Okay. Do me a favor. Put it down. On account of the car trucks here. Look at this idiot. <laughs> you got to put that stuff down, okay? I mean, the woman is clearly mentally ill. You're, this cop over here, but you got to put that stuff down, okay? Like, like she's going to listen to you. <laughs> so you're just telling her to do it and she's just going to do it. I mean, how about you, like, you know, get a straitjacket, call the ambulance, you know, get them to, like, you know, shoot her with some kind of, like, tranquilizer and go arrest her, put her away. Like, 
Oh. Our truck's here. So if you want to put that on a counter and come out and walk around, we'll, we'll get you outside. Okay. Put that stuff down for me, okay? I'm, F I'm FTO Alexander with the Austell PD, okay? Put the stuff down for me. I want to I wanna get you help just like you want to get help, okay? That's what... I don't know. We we want to help yeah. you. You want to see an ambulance, but the only way that we'll be. Oh my God! Look at her though. Look at she's just like waving scissors around, like like she's just like holding weapons, like having conversations. Just like yeah. look at this. Wow, uh, that's scary. Oh no. We we want to help yeah. you. You want to see an ambulance, but the only way that we'll be able to get you an ambulance is for you to you have to put that stuff down, okay? No. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, I understand. I understand. Okay. Like fork, it's literally all the way down. You swallowed a huge fork. And y'all don't care. Y'all ain't gonna pull the. Oh, we can't. Well, we'll get you help. Okay. I Did she say she swallowed a fork? <laughs> now, how exactly do you swallow a fork? Y'all don't care. Y'all ain't gonna pull the. Oh, we can't. We'll get you help. Okay, I understand that, but in order for us to get you, in order for. Somebody else besides you, please. Oh, who do you want to speak to? You want to speak? Okay. Okay. That's fine. She wants to speak to everybody else, but you want me. To put it on the counter. Put your stuff on the counter, and we'll come around. So it's okay. Okay. Just put it right there for me, okay? And then we'll walk around. Okay. You got to put that stuff down. You got to put that stuff down. You got to put that. Move away. You gonna put that down? Yes. You move away. I'm not. You put, okay. Put it down. You can't come out with that. Listen. Please put somebody else in charge, and I'll go with it. You you have to you. I'm not going to put it down unless, like... <laughs> this woman has a screwdriver on serious note. Look at this. She has a screwdriver in one hand, okay? You see that? And scissors in the other. <laughs> like, these cops aren't scared. I'd be scared to death. Like, I would want... I'd be like, I need a shield. <laughs> I call in the SWAT team. Like, I'm not going near her. <laughs> God only knows what diseases she's carrying. She could bite you, spit on you, who knows? Like, can you switch out with somebody? Why, why do you need us to switch out? Because I don't like the way you're handling the situation. How am I handling the situation? You're just you're crazy. Crazy. I want to, I want, I want to get you help, but the only way that we'll be able to let you out is for you to put that stuff down before you get here. Listen, can he put, can he, Give me okay, that's fine. For him. That's fine. Well, then move. Then. You got to put that down. Oh, well, then just put him on the counter, okay? Put him on the counter. Move, please. Put him down. Will you move, please? You have to put that stuff down. Put it on the counter, okay? It's all right. Put him down on the counter right there. I don't matter. We're not letting you, we're not going to let you out this room until you put that stuff down. We want to get you to help, but you have to put that down first, okay? Well, this is actually not funny. This, this, this look at this. I mean, she could she could really seriously hurt herself right now. Never mind. Like she could just stab herself. To, I mean, anything. This woman is really sick or really high. Something is totally off. Like, what do you actually do in a situation like this? There's no way they have had to call an ambulance at this point. There's just they have to be outside waiting. I mean, I, I don't know how you don't. We'll let him open the door and I'm going. Okay, but you have to put that stuff down before I will allow my officer to put, to open this door. Put it on the counter. Let me get this. She's going to get the king? Oh, very. Can you let me out? You have to put that stuff down. I will. Okay, put it down first and I'll let you out. I'm not going, I'm not going to let you out until you put that stuff down. What if I gave you that? Is she locked in there? She's asking them to let her out, and then he's saying, I'm not going to let you out until you put that stuff down. They must have locked her in there. You out until you put that stuff down. What if I gave you that phone call you wanted to make? Put it down, Ben? It don't matter. I just want to be let out and the drink of water. Okay. We got you. We'll, we'll get that for so you. We will open the door. Like, Listen, we're not open the door. Just, like, going through a lot. Like, I'm going through my medication okay. rituals. Like... And I don't know why. He... We're not opening the door just to get stabbed by you. That doesn't make any sense. Put it down and we'll open the door for you. Listen, can you open the door? Real simple. Listen, don't give her any bright ideas. I mean, I don't think that's appropriate talking to her like that. We're not going to open the door just to get stabbed by you. I mean, that like that's probably not the thing to say. 
Lizzie, can you open the door? Circle. When you put it down, we will open the door. You gotta show me. Yes, you have to give me a, you have to give me some kind of faith and I would do the same. She's got the sticker for that shirt. <laughs> like the size. Did she just take that shirt and put it on and like what is going on here? This woman is really, really sick. Do the same for you. I will open the door when you put that down. She continuously avoided answering questions and was obstructive, which made it difficult for the officer to understand the context of her behavior and the incident at the gas station. When the officer instructed the woman to put down the weapon, she ignored the command. She was holding a pair of scissors and a screwdriver, which posed a significant risk. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to be quick. We're gonna have to be quick. We can open this with a knife, but we're gonna have to be quick. Yeah. Somebody distract her over there. Okay. Okay. You got you gonna you gonna have to put that stuff down. Okay. Okay. We're trying to get you to the ambulance. You just gotta give me that stuff so I can get you to the ambulance. I know. We talked earlier. You remember? Uh -huh. you, remember? I got you, you got you got to put it down. I got you to help the water break track. We went to high school together. It's okay. See what? Someone. Let him come back. Someone. Let him be quick. It's someone. It's someone. Okay. I'm trying to say nothing about that. Okay. I'm trying to get you the help that you're asking for, but you got to give me those scissors and that three drop. Okay. He unlocked that door. First of all, I, I would have unlocked the door and then I would have been like, okay, it's all set. Go ahead. You go in. <laughs> I'm not going in. I mean, so what are they going to do here? This is about to get real interesting because they're about to just ambush her as if that's going to work. She still has a screw, screwdriver in one hand and a pair of scissors in the other. And God knows what else. And who knows what she's on. Okay. I'm not about that, okay? I'm trying to get you the help that you're asking for, but you got to give me those scissors and that three drop. She's got weapons. Put those down, and we can help. Just put that stuff down, and we can help. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what you can do. Maybe I can get some water if you open the window. Yeah. Well, how about we get some water? Put the sugar right here for a second. Sorry. I'm trying to help you. Do you just yeah, want to be quick with it? For me to be able to help you. You just want to be quick with it? Put right there, and we'll get you out of here. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Where to go? Yeah. I just need her to, I just need her to face the window. I can get her to. You got to go with Okay. If okay. I can, if I can get her to face the window, okay. I'll snap yeah, her up. I can't help you. Yeah. If she can face the window, I can get him to snap, snap the window and get her. Come on. Thank you. Well, 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 I'm going to. No, So he's trying to get her to face the actual window there. See? To, to the right of her so that her peripheral vision is somewhere else when he butts in. Oh boy. No, she still got the... There's the taser. Oh, she's got it coming. The voltage is coming. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Get down. Okay. Oh my God. All right. So let me just see. When did he tase her? Actually, was she already up there? Let's see. Get down. Okay. So she was already up. He opens the door. She's standing up there and now he's tasing her. Get down. 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 Get back. Get back. Holy. Tans, you back. Holy. You're, you're back. I've never heard like hey, that. Tans, why you back. I've never, up. Up. I've never heard. I've never heard like that in my whole life. Doesn't it seem like they tase these people for a long time? Though, you know what? I mean, is it necessary? I mean, you're you're already tasing them. How much tase? Like, how long do you have to hold it? It seems like a little aggressive. Clearly, this woman is either one, mentally ill, okay, or, or, or suicidal, all right, or or so drugged out she doesn't even realize what she's doing. So is it really necessary? I don't I don't know, but it seems a bit much. Let me say 
Listen, y'all, I've been off my medication for four days. Listen to me, officer. And it's a, it's a, it's a mood, it's a mood stabilizer, and it's, it's for bipolar. Do you understand me? I need water, y'all. I'm bound to, I'm bound to, I'm bound to, y'all, I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing nothing. I just need some water. I just need some water. Please. It's the surprise to It just hey, listen. I don't understand. Hey, hey, stop. What? stop. Stop. I don't understand my own head. Get fire in. Yeah. Hey, Perfect. please don't. Please don't. Listen. Please don't. Hey, listen, listen. Just give me a second. I mean, she's already handcuffed. Like like what is she going to do? She's already handcuffed. I mean, uh, why, why, why kneel on her and all this stuff? I mean, see, you know what? Actually, look, th this is, this is, this is important. Okay. This woman probably is bipolar. Okay. She's probably bipolar. So when you have celebrities running around and this is culture now, oh, I'm bipolar or not. Like everybody's like bipolar. Or not. There are actually people who are really sick and actually bipolar. Okay. That clearly need help and are clearly mentally ill and it's clearly probably not even their fault. So when you go around Hollywood, now every person's bipolar. Oh, it's cool to be bipolar. It's not funny because people like this that are really sick, you know, it's, they, nobody takes it seriously because ever because Selena Gomez, everybody's bipolar. It's it's grotesque. It's the surprise to It just hey, listen. I don't understand. Hey, hey, stop. Hey, what? Stop. stop. I don't understand my own act. Get fire in. Yeah. Hey, Perfect. please don't. Please don't. Listen, please hey, don't. Listen, listen. Just give me a second. Okay. All right. Give us a second, okay. Hold Officer. Hold on. Hold Officer. on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Officer, can you please yeah, can you please roll me over? And I need you to and, relax, okay? Listen. Yeah. I, I don't know if you understand the realness of mental health. I do. Listen. Just, God, please. Just breathe, okay? Listen. I've been off my medication. I, I've never been hit with a taser okay. before. All right. I don't understand. Now you can't come at officer yeah, with scissors. I did. I don't understand. What, I don't understand why I just couldn't just get to the... Like, it's like, I didn't even take my med My medication had me so confused. It had me so confused okay, I got that you. I couldn't I even find help. <laughs> and you know something? The med These medications, okay? This is why, you know, big pharma and all this stuff, like, come on. Like, we, we have to get this under control. It's so easy for people to be overly medicated and be confused and out of their minds. I mean, am I right? Am I wrong? We see this all the time. Doctors are just prescribed, prescribed, prescribed. So, oh, I got a vacation. Oh, I hit the, I hit the quota. I, I was a number one prescriber. I mean, it, we're, we're living in a world where there's an industry that makes people rich by prescribing, prescribing, prescribing. Okay. All of these things have side effects. And how about when you mix them together? I mean, it's disgusting. This society is like lost their way. We have to really change the industry of medicine. Please don't. One on one. Please don't. Listen, please, please don't. Stay here, relax. Okay? Please don't. You're good. You're all never... right. You're okay. Hey. You're all right. Oh, it's a It has me. It has. Okay. It has me not. Listen, I couldn't even get it. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on. I'm without my Zepazidone. I've been off of it for for four days, y'all. Please, like my mental health medicine is real, y'all. Like, and like, and they know. Listen, no, I That's have not. The counter fell off. I have not taken. Before, so. Listen, okay. though, at my I was diagnosed with a um, mood condition and bipolar. I was, hey, I was diagnosed with bipolar manic depression, and I've been off of it for four days, and I don't even. I feel bad for this woman. I really do. Okay. You know, first of all, if, if you read stuff about, by, this is why I don't like drugs like this. Okay. I mean, think about it. You're, you're talking about a medication that affects your brain. It affects how you think. It changes your mood. So if you, if you, 
if you like study this stuff a little bit or you just like catch glimpses of different things when it comes to people being bipolar and all these celebrities, people that are really bipolar or have real issues like this, the medication makes you feel terrible. So it people want to get off of the medication and then they stop taking their medication and it feels good. I guess that's why it's like manic, depressive, or like up and down, up and down. Because a lot of times they get off their meds because they don't like how it makes them feel. They're sluggish, they're tired, it makes you gain weight. How could you function if medications make you feel worse? So when you get off of it, this is what happens. It's crazy. I don't even know, like... What's your name? What? I don't even know what's going on, please. What's your first name? Please don't do this to me. Please. Please don't do this to me. Y'all, my mental health medicine has not. Where is the ambulance? I mean, how long are we going to wait for the ambulance? Did they even call it? I mean, it's one woman that's like a quarter of the size of all these police officers. It's like, you really need to keep her on the floor. Like, get the woman help already. Help should have been waiting right there. What if she did do something like slash her wrist behind the Well, then what? It's got me not even recollecting. Y'all, please. Please don't taste. Listen, y'all, please. Hold on, hold on, all right. At this point, the officer had to tase her to hinder her, and she fell to the ground. Okay. When she fell to the ground, she sustained a minor injury. The officer approached her to make an arrest, but she began resisting. She kicked the officer and continued to assault them, making the arrest process more difficult and dangerous. Her aggressive behavior further escalated the situation requiring the officer to manage both the physical struggle and the need for restraint. Please, God, y'all! Well, first of all, if you're being tased, of course you're gonna kick and do whatever. You're, there's a t you're being tased! Uh, what do you expect somebody to do, sit still? I'm just saying, that kind of, you know, like, hello? Uh, I mean, the woman is mentally ill or highly, highly drugged, one of the two. Uh Please, y'all, I don't. Or both, actually. Both. Mentally ill and on uh, God knows how many dr prescription drugs because she's bipolar. Y'all, please, God, I don't. Please. I've been on my mental health medicine for four days. Hey, Morgan. You can look at my bottle. Morgan, we, we hear you, darling. Listen, please, uh, no, you uh, don't. No, you don't. Listen, I've never felt any type of pain, pain like this before. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey, y'all. Morgan, you got to be compliant with them. Okay. What is the blood on the floor? What is going on here? Okay, first of all, this is extremely dangerous, okay? It's, she's extremely dangerous. I understand that. But we have, this is, this is, a, this is a culture problem. How, why are there so many people that are mentally ill and on drugs like this and are dangerous? Who's to blame? Could it be the pharmaceutical industry? That, could it be that we've made a, a, an industry, a business, a trillion dollar business off of peddling drugs to people and not really figuring out how to help them properly? Think about it. Okay, I'm going to. Hey, I'm going to. Hey, hey. Hurry, I'm going to. Stop. Can you Her face, she's full of blood. Like, what happened here? It, obviously, it's probably from the fall. I'm not saying that this is not her fault as far as her behavior and such, but I mean, this is out of control. To the side. No. You stop fighting. Morgan, okay. work with us, we'll work with you, Morgan. okay? Okay. Can you hear me, darling? Okay. Yes, can you at least give my surprise the door? Please. I thought you said you were out of it for four Listen, days. Listen, I've been out of it for four days, and that's why I need it, y'all. That's why I need it. Please, God! Please! Morgan, don't. Please! 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 Radio 39 
Okay. Hey, yo. You're not gonna keep fighting them. Hey. Hey. Okay. What? What's? What's going on? What you need? Hey. What do you? What do you mean? He's asking her, "What's going on? What you need? What do you mean? What's going on? The woman is ill. Where is the ambulance? I want to know where the EMS is. Where is the EMS? This is like, dude. I don't. This is like, like, I don't know. This is very disturbing to watch. You need. Okay. You gonna stop fighting them? We want to bring her into the liquor access room. Yeah. We're gonna stretch her hands on the stretch. Don't come off the line. Please, don't kill me. No. Now stop. Stop. Okay, shouldn't she be on a stretcher? I mean, how many times do I have to say it? They're literally dragging her across the floor. I mean, you couldn't get a stretcher and put this woman on it? You gotta be kidding me, right? I mean, she's in handcuffs, you've tasered her. What the heck are we looking at? This is barbaric. Come on, Morgan. Come on. Okay, you got it. Yeah, 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 Give me my medicine! Can I find a stretcher out or what? Please! I should get a cuff in front of her. Hey! I don't know how she got in front of her. Please! Go ahead. Stop. 10-4, we're all good, boy. Stop. We're okay. fine. We're gonna help. Stop. Can you hand me stuff? Okay. Can you hand me tip over your little one? Do what? Can you hand me tip over your little one? Oh, I'm so no. sick. Okay. No, we okay. Don't. I'm giving you some room. Baby, that's cool. Okay. Stay laying down. I'm not playing with you. You're not gonna you're not gonna start this. Ooh, okay, I don't like this. I'm sorry. I don't like these officers. Okay, I I I, I th this is this is unacceptable to me. I'm sorry. Okay, first of all, I understand you had to taser. I understand she's holding weapons, okay? Fine, I get that. She fell down, she's injured, she's bleeding. You're, you're, you're pressing on her face now and there's blood all over it and you've dragged her from inside the store, laying on her face, on her stomach, dragging her by the feet across the store and bringing her out on cement. Like, what is wrong with these police officers? I'm sorry. At this point, she's not doing anything to harm you. It's not even possible. She's in handcuffs. What exactly is she doing? Okay. Nope. Nope. Okay. I'll go the phone. Nope. Is she even gonna be able to go in the ambulance car? Do you okay. have one? Yeah, I got you. Hey, hand, hand, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm holding the bottom of her chin. I'm holding it. What are they doing to her? Okay, if the ambulance had been there, okay, you could have put her in a straitjacket. Seriously. It would have prevented her from hurting herself and others. Put her in a straitjacket, strap her to a stretcher, sedate her if you have to, and take her to the emergency room. What are we looking at here? This woman is out on cement. She's outside, like, literally was dragged by her feet. You think this is acceptable? I don't. Be still. Just be still. It's okay. Ah, ah, okay. Be still. I can't. Don't listen to this. The water. Stop your head. Stop. Okay. Stop. Okay, I'll go on the I know. Thing, I know. Here, hit the wall. Back of the head on the concrete again. Stop. Let, let, let my hand go. Let it go. Let it go. 
Thank you. You got to sell the strength. Put her off the stretcher and you'll just hold her until you're going to pull her. Hey! All right, now she's falling. Y'all got something to get her? No. Yeah, Don't bite me. They're going to try to strap her down. Well, we get okay. Strap her down. Strap her down. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Yep, two arms, I'll watch your head. Okay. Straight, stretch her out. Pull straight. Y'all pull on her legs down towards you, I'll pull her arms towards us. You gotta settle down, darling. You gonna give me some medicine? Make you feel better. Okay? Morgan, you're doing just fine. Keep up. Good work. After securing her, the officer bandaged her minor injury and decided to transport her to the hospital via ambulance for further medical attention and first aid. Her ongoing hostility... Why is the officer bandaging her? Shouldn't, shouldn't the, the ambulance EMS workers be bandaging, bandaging her? I mean, what? This is so odd. Ongoing hostility and refusal to calm down complicated the situation further. Her resistance intensified as she continued to demand help and pleaded with the officer to release her. Uh, okay. Uh, Doing fine, Morgan. Uh, hey, yo! Yo! Okay, I'm Where are you going tonight? Oh! 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 It'll make you feel better, darling, no, okay? No, it's not. It will, I promise. No, it's not! Ah! It's not making me feel any better, though! It's not making me feel any better, though! It just takes a what the pharmaceutical industry has done to people in this country. Did you ever see that 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 series about the Sackler friend? It's a dope sick or I mean, seriously? You get injured, something happens, they put you on all these drugs. Oh, oh no, oxycodone it has no side effects. It has, oh, it does nothing. Oh, there's no, no chance of being addicted to it. Right? Meanwhile, how much did the Sackler family who, you know, own the drug in Connecticut over here have to pay? Oh, what? Only $4 billion. Oh, me, you've ruined how many people's lives? And you paid $4 billion or whatever it was. That was your fine. And now you have to have a big warning on it to show that it's highly addictive. I mean, you go into the hospital with a, with a broken limb or anything and they're giving you oxycodone or cotton or whatever it's called. I mean, this is really sad. Sad. Scary times we're in, and that is one thing that I hope the new elect president, Donald Trump, handles. My God, this is just heartbreaking, heartbreaking. I hope that this poor woman finally gets some sort of relief and eventually got the help that she so desperately needed. I'm DeBrava. We've got to change things in this country. Keep your head up, though. There's hope. I'm DeBravo. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.